What's up? What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Poon, and I am here with another video for you. I'm feeling really good today, and today I want to talk about warehouse jobs. Now, mind you, this is just my opinion, um, but I'm going to just talk from my perspective. Every warehouse job that I worked in it wasn't it wasn't no eight hours it was always like 10 hours and beyond and mind you the money was was good i think that a lot of times if you work in a warehouse job you should at least be getting 25 dollars an hour that's just my opinion i didn't get 25 dollars an hour but i believe that everyone should if you're working in a warehouse be getting 25 dollars an hour bare minimum simply because in my opinion every time i got home i was drained every time i was off of work i was still drained and didn't want to do anything and it's because as we all know well not all of us but some of us call me lazy because i don't care no more but working an eight hour shift is is i don't even think that should be a part of the law but it is, so I ain't going like whoop de whoop de whoop. But working 10 hours and beyond should definitely be against the law because how many times do you come home and feel like spending time with your family? You don't. How many times do you come home after a working, working a warehouse job and want to create what you're meant to be creating in this life? You don't have the energy to. A lot of the times when you're working these long hour shifts and um, mind you, I would be there from like seven in the morning to like, I wouldn't get home to seven at night sometimes. And I just had to realize I was being a slave to the money and the money wasn't even that popping. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. The money was paying a little bit more than some of these other jobs. But that's what they try. This is the matrix that they try to put you in, is that a lot of the times when you are so drained from your jobs, from your job, from your jobs, how many ever you got, when you are so drained from, you can't, you don't even have all the energy to do the things and the necessary, necessary things that you should be doing, which is living the life that you want to create, spending time with your kids, um doing whatever hobbies that you want to do because a lot of the times when you're working and you are just in these facilities for so long walking on these concrete floors is messing up your body and it's truly draining your energy it's messing up your head it's making you a slave to the money and to be honest i'm not trying to bash these warehouse jobs but what I am trying to say is that you got to get in and get out because these warehouse jobs don't care about you and you know it. And that's why you clicked on this video. So just to conclude this video, I just had to realize that it's a nasty cycle to get in. For the moments that I did work in a warehouse, I was missing out on so much that life had to offer um, simply because my energy was getting drained and I just didn't feel like any doing anything. A lot of the times, even like I said on my off days, I would just want to eat and lay down and let my body recover. And, it's, and I don't think it was because I was doing like this hard work. I think it was simply because it was the long hours and when you finally get to have that sigh of release, it's like you get home and it's like, oh my gosh, I still got to do X, Y, and Z. But I don't feel like doing X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to just brush it off and wait till tomorrow. And then tomorrow, it's the same thing. So this is, like I said, this is not a video to try to say, oh, don't go work at a warehouse and warehouses are horrible and, and yada, yada, yada. But what I am saying is get in and get out because you will be in a cycle and you will really miss 
moments that are truly special. And a lot of the times when we're so focused on money, we forget about all the other things and beauty life has to offer.